Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Galileo said, By denying scientific principles, one may maintain any paradox. It is surely harmful to souls to make it a heresy to believe what is proved. According to the Rutgers University Global Snow Lab, North American October snow cover has been steadily increasing over the past 55 years. This indicates that the freeze line has been moving further south, causing precipitation, which used to fall as rain, to now fall as snow. Thermometer data supports this idea. U.S. average maximum October daily temperatures have plummeted over the last 60 years. The warmest October by far in the United States occurred in 1963. But the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration tampers with their own data before they release graphs to the public. Their altered version of the graph looks like this, with a warming trend over the last 55 years. The pink lines show the measured data, and the red lines show the altered data. The measured October data shows cooling, and the adjusted data shows rapid warming. No has tampered with the data over the last 55 years to produce about 1.5 degrees of non-existent warming. If the NOAA data tampering were correct, we would have seen a decline in October snow cover in North America because the freeze line would have been moving further north. But instead, we've seen an increase in October North American snow cover because U.S. October afternoon temperatures have been decreasing just as the thermometer data shows. NOAA's data tampering is denying scientific principles and thus making it possible for them to maintain their paradox against snow. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on the climate scam for more than 15 years. You can visit him and his large family on the web at realclimatescience.com.